This is eBay versus Amazon. You'll learn when you should use eBay versus when you should use Amazon to list your product for sale. Creating listings, eBay. You have the ability to create any product listing that you want on eBay. Amazon. You cannot create certain listings on Amazon unless you have a business account and are approved by Amazon to list such products. As an example, sports collectibles. You cannot list sports collectibles unless you are approved by Amazon. Best offer. On eBay, you have the ability to accept, decline, or counter offers from interested buyers. On Amazon, you cannot do this. There are only buy it now listings. Once you set your price, that is the only option that a customer can buy your product for. Auctions. eBay allows you to host an auction for your item. List it at a starting price of your choosing and get people bidding up the price of your item. Amazon only allows buy it now listings. Shipping policy. You have the ability to create your own shipping policy on eBay. You can offer free shipping to your customers or you can choose how much to properly charge for shipping. On Amazon, you cannot choose your own shipping policy unless you have a business account. Return policies. On eBay, you have the ability to create your own return policy eBay recommends that you have at least a 14-day return policy. You can choose from 14 days, 30 days, or 60 days. You can also have the option to not accept returns at all. On Amazon, you have to abide by Amazon's standard return policy of 30 days. Description. You have more freedom with the description on eBay. You can use HTML and make a really nice listing if you wanted to. And you don't even need to know that much about HTML. On Amazon, your description is more controlled. On Amazon, there are already preset descriptions for the item that you want to sell. The only things that will separate you from your competitors are price and feedback. Pictures. On eBay, you have the freedom to post up to 12 pictures for free. On Amazon, you have the freedom to post 6 pictures of your item for free. Selling limits. On eBay, there are selling limits. When you're first starting out, you're limited to listing 10 items or $1,000 worth of items. You can call in and they'll increase your listings by 100 items. On Amazon, you're not limited. You can list as many items as you want, even if you're just starting out. Payment. On eBay, you use PayPal. They'll take an extra 2.9% per transaction in order for you to get paid. Amazon disperses your sales money into your bank account for free using an ACH transfer. Customer feedback. Getting positive and negative feedback matters more on eBay than it does Amazon. eBay will kick you off if you get seven negative feedbacks in a year. I had 98% positive feedback on eBay after eight years and they still kicked me off. The perception of positive feedback on eBay is huge. It will make or break a customer's decision to buy from you on eBay. When I first started to sell on Amazon, I canceled 40% of my sales transactions. This would be a huge no-no on eBay. I've been selling on Amazon since 2006, and eight years later, I only have six people who left me positive feedback. People don't leave feedback often on Amazon, and it doesn't seem to affect my sales ability. Fees, eBay fees. First 50 listings per month are free. They'll charge you a 10% commission on all sales with a $250 maximum fee that eBay will take per item. Amazon fees vary from 8% to 20% depending on the product category. Amazon will also take a 99 cent per item fee, but Amazon only charges you after you sell your item.